uh, capital. I mean, you, you know, you're miles away and the first thing you see is the Capitol Tower. You know, that sort of says it all. You know, it's, it's a landmark, it's historic. There's this reverence that I feel when I drive on the lot. So this place is awe-inspiring, you know, and I think being in a facility like this just makes musicians uh, want to do better. You can tell that there's a spirit just in every room and every instrument and all the wood of all the amazing legends that have played here. It's, it's an honor to be here. Camo caravan, Jareshi, Rampy line to go, yeah. Stack the trust all in a row. All the bus, one to the road. OZO, expedition mission the world over. Come on. It's all around the world, so it's talking about the places that we've been. Because, I mean, if you know Ozo Motley, you know that Ozo Motley travels a lot. We travel to a lot of places that are off the beaten path. Cairo, Vietnam, Indonesia, South Africa, Madagascar. It's like we've been to so many different places. So I was just trying to combine everybody's experience into one song. I was going to Soldier's Field to record for a movie. And I was only there to record one song with Dave Matthews. And so we had all this time off, you know, but we had cameras on everything because it was being done in IMAX. And these guys come, you know, like marching in from the rear of the, rear of the field. I mean, it was like the most unbelievable thing I'd ever seen. I, I'd never seen any act ever do anything like that. It was mind blowing to me. I think that was the show when Dave Matthews marched in with us with a bag on his head. I, I don't know. I was so taken by what you guys were doing. I didn't notice whether he was there or... <laughs> that's cool, man. Oh, it was great. Thank you. Couldn't hear anything in there. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Tell me what you'd like to do. Um, I was going to say, do you want me to just run down it or do you want to just go straight to the parts and just... Whatever, whatever you'd like to do. I mean, um, is it, are you just in a couple of places? Yeah, it, yeah. Oh. I'm just in the... Oh, we'll go to those spots then. I'm just like... Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we'll go to those. I'm just playing little idea, like little licks here and there. There's not like a set part. Like... Okay, we'll go to those spots. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. When we came in here, we were going to do everything live, and we started out that way. We, you know, we, we rehearsed the band live, but what it ended up being is a couple of guys at a time. So, I'm, and I'm used to doing this kind of stuff, you know, where you, you know, you take bass and drums and, and sometimes percussion and put them in a room together and let them do it, and that's what we did. And then, you know, you were able to focus on exactly where that was going, and then uh, do piano, and then do guitar, you know. So we, we did more of a, a layering process today. Amrita came in, which is one of Tony Burke's connections, an incredible Indian vocalist. Once she came in and sang on the track, the track just took on a complete new life of its own. Right here in California, we only have really one really good Bollywood singer, and that's Amrita. It's such an honor to work with a vocalist that really has an instrument, you know? And the stuff that she sings is so delicate. And they, they sing in, the, in that world with different notes that anywhere else in the Western world do not understand. It's a certain kind of very delicate instrument that you have to really develop. And I was amazed. Yeah, much better. Every time it's like it sounds a million times better. I mean, I'll do it as many times as you want me to. Okay. Okay. I can't look 
at you and like take this seriously. And I'm sure they got a great view of you back there. <laughs> When we first got into the ZDX today, you know, I was a little skeptical about how it was going to sound just because, you know, there's so much hype going into this car right now. And we got in and what I noticed is it sounded so good that all the imperfections on our CD, you could actually hear them. And uh, I actually liked hearing other people's music more than my own for that. But it sounds really, really, really freaking good. <laughs> 